All right, what's up, y'all? Look, I'm gonna show y'all something. How I was able to move 80 hard inquiries from a credit report. You see it right here. I put a watermark over it so nobody can steal the content right there. But look, that's 80 hard inquiries that I removed from a credit report. 100% legit. Now I'm about to show you how to go on screen and remove hard inquiries from your credit report. You ain't never have to worry about them again. So now when you go to these car dealerships, you go apply for anything, you don't get approved. I'm gonna show you how to get these hard inquiries deleted from your credit report. From there, you're never gonna have to worry about them. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get Identity IQ. Now, this is gonna allow you to pull Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, your credit reports. And it's gonna allow you to refresh your scores every 30 days. They got a one bureau daily monitoring and alerts. So anytime your license number get used, your social get used, anything associated with you, they will, you will be able to get alerted and they know exactly what's going on. And if something's not right, they got a $25,000 identity theft insurance with this plan. Now this plan is $1 for seven day trial. Now you're gonna be able, you can cancel it after that, but I tell people to keep it. The reason I tell people to keep it, and I had them for like six, six plus years. The reason I tell people to keep this is because it's, it's a way you can protect yourself online. With all this stuff going on online, all these scams, anything out there, you can be able to, to protect yourself in the long run. You know, look at this as like a online insurance, you know, just for you to be able to protect yourself. That's all I use them for, just to protect myself. And I go look at my credit reports every now and then, or anytime I go to the bank or do anything and they pull my credit report, then I know exactly what's going on and who's pulling it. And it, it monitors all three too as well. So like I said, it'd be twenty one ninety nine. $21.99 a month after that, but I always tell people to keep them. I recommend you keep them and it's going to help you in the long run. You know, we got insurance for a lot of other stuff, but a lot of times we don't have insurance for like online protection. So this is just to protect yourself online. You also get to pull your credit reports. Now this video is solely about actually just removing your inquiries. So we're not going to go over nothing else, but just removing your inquiries. So that's all we here for. And we're going to go to this section where I'm going to show you how to start just removing all the inquiries. All right. Now, when you get to the when you when you get to your credit report, right, you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to inquiries right here in this section. Once you get to the section that say inquiries, you only thing you need to pay attention to is the inquiry name, the date and then the bureau. Most importantly, we're going to pay attention to the date right now. So I created a Google sheet for y'all, too. And I'm going to show you all what y'all do once y'all get to the Google Sheet. The link will be below. And then once you get to the Google Sheet, I'm going to show you how to make a copy. And then once you make a copy, you could be able to add this information in there. So you could just copy and paste, right? So now we're going to copy the date. We see this on TransUnion. I always do it like this first. I always do TransUnion, then I do Experian, then I do Equifax. So I do three. I do all three of them, but I do them all separately. So we look at the inquiry date. We're going we're gonna to do, we're going to copy the inquiry date. So you're going to hit copy and then you're going to hit if you're on a Mac, you're going to hit Control F and it's going to bring up a search bar. If you are on a PC, you're going to hit um, Control F. If you're on a Mac, you're going to hit C Command F. So I'm going to hit Command F because I'm on a Mac. And as you see, this little drop down menu comes right here, right? Then we're just going to paste the date. When you paste the date, see how I say one of one? That means that that inquiry is only down here. It's not at the top where the accounts are at, right? So now. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take that one. That's our first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the name of this inquiry. I'm going to copy this inquiry. And I'm going to go put it over here in the sheet. But make sure you look at the bottom to make sure you're on the right one. We're doing TransUnion first. So then we're going to do this. And then we're going to paste and match style. So we get the name like that. And then we're going to go back to the credit report. And then we're going to get the date. So we're going to copy the date. We're going to go back to this sheet. The sheet will be available for y'all. Once you get to this sheet and you put the, once you get to this sheet and you hit the link to get the sheet, all you have to do is click make a copy so that you could be able to edit the sheet. So once you get to the sheet, you're gonna hit file, make copy, and then you can be able to add them in there. So now we're gonna do the next inquiry. So this is the next one for TransUnion. Remember, we get the date, we copy the date, we use the search bar, and then we put the date at the top. See, now this saying two of two, right? So I'm not seeing no other ones lit up around here. So this is what I want to show you. If I hit this, if I hit the up arrow, you see how it takes me back to the account and the account has an open date and it's a positive open account. So that's not account that we want to get rid of. We only going to do the inquiries for the accounts that are not open. If you have an open account like this, that's showing all green, that's in good standing. We're not going to get rid of those. So then we go back down. We're going to skip that one. 
and then we just go to the next. Now, if it was a, it was a, if it was a count that you get rid of, and it was a negative account, then we'll do that. So you go back, search the, you put the next one in. Now this one is saying three out of five. So one, two, three, four, five. They all five of them is right here. So that means if I click these arrows, it's only gonna take me through these five right here. So now I'm gonna take this inquiry since I know this inquiry is not attached to an open account. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna paste this here. And then I'm going to paste to go back and I'm going to get the date and I'm going to paste the date and you do the same for Experian and then you're going to do the same for Equifax. So let's just let me uh, put the date over there, too. So I'm going to put the date here like this when well, you can paste it. Oops. So then you can paste it like this. Boom. Now you got the dates. So now let's just say we got we done with TransUnion and we want to go to Experian. We're going to come to the bottom. We're going to click Experian. You see how it's blank now. Then we're going to do the same thing for Experian. So now we know this date 11, eight, we already know that date is only going to show these three down here. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to go get this inquiry name, which is this one. I'm going to copy this, go over here to the sheet and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to get the date and then I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to copy the date because make sure you know which bureau you're working on. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it on the sheet. Just like that. And then you're going to do the same for Equifax. You're going to click down here for Equifax. And then when you get to Equifax, you're going to go back to the credit report. And then this one has a date. Uh, this is the first one for Equifax. This one have a date of 719. Remember, paste it up to the uh, to the actual search bar up here. It's showing two out of four. So I'm only seeing three lit up. So if I hit one up, it's going to take me to the top up there. So since this account is good, what we're going to do, y'all, we're not going to get rid of this uh, inquiry. We're going to leave it alone. Yep, and that's literally it. So you're going to literally do the same thing. Since it's none for Equifax, we can just leave Equifax blank because that was the only one. And then I'm going to show you what you do once you get to the next step. We're going to go to the next step, which is going to identitytheft.gov just so we can get rid of the inquiries. Look, look, look. I know you're enjoying this video, but look, I got a chance for you to win 100% free credit repair. All you have to do is click the link below to win 100% free credit repair. Look, at the end of the week, I'm going to select one winner and when that one winner, I'm going to come back the next week on the next video and I'm going to post that winner of who was able to get the 100% free credit repair. Look, take the chance. It just might be you. Let's get back to the video. All right. I just want to show you all this part, right? So you see this is a inquiry for Experian. So now look at this. I'm going to show you what I say when it's a negative account. So now you see it say a fees. Uh, we're going to go up and you see how this is military star. That's the date that it was inquired. Now, I know AFES is military star because I'm ex-military, so um, you can see the date. Now, you see this is a negative account. It's a charge-off account collection, so we want to make sure we get rid of that inquiry, too, because it's on a negative account. So that's what I wanted to show you. When you find a negative account that's attached to open inquiry, I mean, you find a, a negative inquiry attached to a negative account, then you want to put both of them and get them deleted. Now, if it was a good inquiry and it was on a good account, then I kind of just leave it alone. And I don't really mess with it. There's ways to get it removed without getting the account removed, but I'm just going to show y'all how to get it removed for the accounts that that need to get removed. All right, now this is how your Google Drive, your Google Sheets should look. Once you filled out all your inquiries and got them all together, you should have an inquiry name and the dates, right? And then you're going to check over there on Experience. You should have the same thing. If you have zero for Equifax, then it's just zero for Equifax or whatever. But this is how it should look, right? Then the next step of what you want to do is you want to go to identitytheft.gov. Once you go to identitytheft.gov, you want to go to get started. You're going to click right here to get started. This is going to give you your identity theft report slash affidavit so you can get these accounts wiped. You're not even going to have to go back and forth. You can just get them wiped. So you go to get started. I'm going to click through it. You just want to go, I want to report identity theft. And then you're just going to click credit cards. It don't matter if they was for loans or auto loans. It don't matter what it's for. You're going to click credit cards. And then you're just going to go to open a uh, fraudulent credit card account. And then you're going to just click continue. And then you're going to skip all of this, right? You're not going to put none in there because nobody opened a credit card. So next, you're going to go to your personal information. And then this is where you're going to put your name, your phone number, your email address. I'm going to show you exactly how to fill this out. All right. Now, this is how you fill out section number two. Now, when you get here, you can put your first name, last name. And then you're going to put your phone number and then you'll put uh, once you get your phone number, you're going to get a confirmation code. Once you get the confirmation code and the confirmation code comes through, 
and you're gonna put your your email and then you get your email you can get your confirmation code by text and then you're gonna put your email here then once you put your email this part right here say who's filling out the complaint you're gonna just do myself you're gonna make sure that you put your birth here and then you're gonna put your street your address and everything your zip code and then how long have you lived at this address how long how long have you lived at this address since then you're gonna put your birth year and your month that's what i always put to make it look like i stayed at the address for forever and then had this victim been an identity identity theft when it, had your address changed you're gonna put no is the victim member of a military service even though you are just put no and then you're gonna click continue and then for this section on number three you're gonna click no and you're gonna hit continue have you viewed a copy of your credit report you're gonna click yes and then if they say were there any fraudulent accounts on this uh on your credit report you can play no not at this time and then you're gonna go down here we're gonna skip all of this and now the first three inquiries you can do it for transunion or you could do it for uh equifax or whatever whichever you want to do you can go back here and then you can grab your top three right here since we're doing all this for transunion we're just gonna grab the top three you're gonna put this i usually put the inquiry name and the date in there like this Oh, let me go back. And then I'll just say add company. If you get a red box, sometimes you might have a, a character that need to be erased. So like I said, just do your top three on whichever credit bureau that you're working on. Go back, you get the date. Tell if you just follow this step by step, I promise you, you're going to wipe out all your inquiries. And then you can still go start getting approved. You're going to look as thirsty to the banks copy then you're gonna go back put your top three and then the ones that you can't fit because it's only gonna allow you to do three so the ones that you can't fit what you're gonna do is you're gonna put those in your personal statement I don't know why I keep clicking that boom you go ahead add company see it's gonna stop you from adding even more sit in this right here you're just gonna put no no and then you're just gonna put I don't know even if it was, sometimes you could. I was involved in the Equifax data breach, but if you're involved in a data breach, then you just put breach not listed here. But I usually just put I don't know. Uh, has a debt collector contact contact you about an account that isn't yours? You're just gonna say no, and then you're gonna click over to the personal statement, and I'm gonna show you what to put in your personal statement and how to put everything in your personal statement. All right, now here is what I put when I'm getting these inquiries wiped out from my credit report. I go to recently check in my credit report. I noticed that I've been a victim of identity theft and found numerous credit inquiries that I have no knowledge of. Here are the inquiries that I found. You're going to list the inquiry name. You're going to put the date. And after that inquiry, you're going to put a comma so you can separate them because they didn't know. And then you're going to put the inquiry name, put the date, separate them. It's to as many inquiries as you got. Now, if you have so many inquiries, um, this is like when I did the 80 inquiries. It was so many that all I did was put the inquiry name and the date just in a personal section. I didn't even put no other words. It was so many inquiries. I just put the inquiry name and then I just put the date and I just took out all these other words. But then at the end, you want to uh, add on this if you don't have a lot of inquiries and you only because you only got so many characters. You only got a thousand characters. So right now it's at 648 remaining. And then you just put please remove these fraudulent inquiries from my credit report. And then that's literally it. Now you're going to go here to the next now what this is is the she's gonna just review your complaint it's gonna be nothing here it's gonna be nothing there and then once you get to the review your complaint, now what you put your personal statement is not going to show up now the reason your personal statement is not going to show up because it's going to wait until you get to um once you uh print it out once you copy and save it as a pdf on your uh, on your computer then it's going to be you'll be able to see your personal statement so you're gonna click that box right here finalize and then you're gonna go to click no no thanks and then submit without an account click that again continue then it's going to bring up this box right here once you bring this up you're going to put uh the identity you're going to just put this download pdf and then you're going to save it as a pdf and you're going to hit save and then you can do this so you want to name it your name so i put earl jones right but then i always put tu the reason i put tu is because i know that's transunion and then you'll just push save. That's literally it. And you're gonna do the same thing for Experian that you just did for TransUnion, and you're gonna do the same thing for Equifax. Now the next thing we gotta do is go and send out these complaints. These complaints 
is going to be done by the CFPB, which is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So let's go on to the next screen, and I'm going to show you exactly what you do. You need to do to go ahead and send these complaints out so you can have these inquiries deleted within four days. All right. So now you're going to go to, to you're going to type in your search bar at the top. Like when you search it like www.google.com, you're going to type into your search bar at the top to cfpb.gov. Don't worry. I'm going to put the link to everything down in the description below. That way you can go ahead and use that. So, but it's the cfpb.gov. Now, let me tell you about the CFPB something quick so I can explain to y'all. The CFPB is the only bureau where you're talking as far as uh, financial, as far as credit, right? So this is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. They help you keep other companies and the credit bureaus in line. So you can use this for literally anything, like any company that's listed out there that's, for, oh, that's, under, that's in the registry, you can list it for anything. So now when you get to this website, you can scroll, do your reading or whatever. But we're going to go straight to where we need to go. You're going to get here. You're going to go to submit a complaint. Once you get to submit a complaint, you're going to click that in the top right corner. I'm going to show you again so you'll see it right here in this top right corner right here. You're going to hit submit a complaint. Come down. You're going to scroll down until you get to start a new complaint. Now, if you don't have a profile, you have to get this profile set up. You're going to put your first name, last name, your email, phone number, and you're going to create a password. Now, when you go to sign up and verify your email, it's going to go to the next screen. The next screen is going to have a three letter um, code and then a net, the, uh, it's going to have a dash and then the rest is numeric. That's going to be inside your email. So check your email after you sign up and it show you that three letter code. And then it's going to show you the digits that you got to type in after that. Type in those digits. Once you get verified, then you can go into your account. I'm going to go into my actual account so that you can... Um, so you can see what it's like when you start submitting a complaint. I'm going to walk you all all the way through. All you have to do is just follow what I tell you. I promise you, if you just follow what I tell you, all that's going to get deleted. All right. Now, once you're getting ready to submit your complaint, this is all you have to do. You're going to come in. You're going to get to this first section. You're going to click right here where it says credit reporting. You're going to scroll down. You have to click any of these other ones. You're going to click and you're going to scroll down. And then you want to click right here what type of uh, credit reporting product. You're going to click this. And then you're going to click next. So remember, click this one and then come down and click this one. Click next. Once it load in, you're just going to do right here in proper use of your credit report. You're going to select that. And then look at that credit inquiries that you did not uh, on your report that you did not recognize. Right. And then have you tried to fix this problem with this company? You're going to click yes. If you say, did you uh, request information from this company? Yes. Even if you didn't, you're just going to say yes. And then you're just going to put proof that I sign up for these companies at that time. That's all you're going to put. Proof that I signed up for these companies at that time. Did they provide um, information? Always click no. Because if you click yes, they're going to be like, why are you even contacting us? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> just click no. So you're going to click no. You're going to go to next. Y'all, this is so simple if you just follow this. All right. Now, remember how we had a personal statement uh, before with the, with the um, FTC with identity theft? We got one now with the CFPB. So here... You don't have to overthink this. Look, I'm about to show y'all. All you have to do is go over here and go to your personal statement that you had with the uh, identity theft. You're going to copy this. That's all you're going to do. Come back. You're going to paste it. Look at that. Save you so much time. Erase it. Clean it up a little bit so it'll look a little clean. You know, make stuff fit where it fit. And then right here, you're going to put, I also attach my identity theft report as well so they know that you put your identity theft report on there too I don't know why this one won't clean it up but oh, I'm just going to leave that alone before I start messing stuff up y'all but you'll just leave it like that and then you're going to scroll down here don't check this box you don't have to check this box because you don't want to furnish that information and then you're going to put remove these inquiries or you could put fraudulent because I always tell them fraud inquiries from my credit report. So I do a lot with y'all. And then now what you got to do is you have to go get that identity theft report. Now you're going to go here, select it, 
grab the identity theft report. You can rename it. And then I usually what I do is while I'm working on certain ones, I take out the TU. And then I remember I for the transunion, it's the last two numbers is important. That's like the 99. But I usually take it out. That's what I do. I take the uh, the TU out just for transunion when I'm working on one at a time. And then you're going to literally go here, <clears throat> upload the reports, give it a minute. Sometimes it might take some, take some time, but give it a minute. And then you're going to go over here. You're going to click next. And now it's going to ask you about the company that you want to complain about. So now you're going to go to trans union, right? Now, the one I use for trans union is this one, trans union intermittent holdings, Inc., right? You select that, then you select these, and then you'll put your social in. Once you put your social in, then you can put in your birth date, whatever your birth date is. Let's just say this your birth date. All right. And then they say name as it appears on credit report. So now I don't want to expose this person information. So now when you go back to the credit report, right, you go back here. Once you get to the credit report, you're going to look at TransUnion, scroll all the way to the top of TransUnion and then copy that name that's in the TransUnion at the top. Your first last name, first last name, middle, however it show up. And then all you're going to do is come here and paste it exactly how it show up. So if my name was uh big bird senior or however it, however it's typed up there you're just gonna put big bird if it's just big bird a big l bird i don't care however it's typed over there that's how they're gonna look for it when they go find you right and then now this is the names of the companies this is important so now if you go back and you do it for experian you'll do experian you can do Experian Credit Bureau. You're going to do Experian Credit Bureau. And you're going to come back. And then if it's for Equifax. You're going to do it. You could do Equifax Credit Bureau. And those are the names when you go do each bureau. But do one bureau at a time, y'all. Do not rush it. Just take your time. Do one bureau at a time. Okay? But for right now, we're going to just... I ain't even type it. Sometimes I'll be typing too fast. But TransUnion is TransUnion Intimate Holder. That's TransUnion actual name. So, and then you put all your stuff in there. Do you want to complain about another company? No. We only want to do one company at a time so we don't look sloppy. Yeah, you want to click this right here. It's going to say myself. And then... You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you want to make sure you put your address in. Once you put your address in, then you will be, you. I'm going to show you what it look like once you put your address in. All you got to do is put your address in one time, but I'm going to block it because I don't want nobody to see my address. All right. Now, once you put your address in, all right, so look, once you put your address in, then you'll be good to go. So you're going to put your address in. It's going to have all your information already from what you put in earlier. And then you're going to put your address in. All you're going to do, you're going to skip all of this. You're not even going to answer none of this. None of this is getting answered. No matter if it pertains to you or not. Then you're going to click review. And then when you click review, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right. When you get to the spot where it say review, you're just going to review this real quick. You're just going to scroll through it. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. You're going to keep on on through. And you're going to keep going. And then once it get... I'm going to scroll past sex, uh, step five because I don't want y'all to see my personal information. But you're going to scroll past. You're going to make sure everything look good. You're going to click right here to make sure that your social is good. And then you're going to keep scrolling down. All right, I skipped past sex, step five because I didn't want y'all to see my information. Because trust me, I, I deal with a lot of weirdness online. So look, you're going to get right here. And all you're going to do is select these two boxes. Click, click. Once you hit submit a complaint, do not refresh this page at all. Don't even refresh when you're doing this, the complaint at all, because if you hit refresh any time during the complaint, it will not submit the complaint, even if it continues to let you go through. It will not submit the complaint. So you're going to just click these two boxes right here like this. Make sure your address is right above this. I don't want to show it, but it's right above this, this box right here. Make sure your address is good and all that stuff is good, too. And then you're just going to hit submit your complaint. Once you hit submit your complaint, give it like four days. And then, you, and then you have the ones for TransUnion gone, but you can do the Experian, Echo Factory, TransUnion all in one. So do them all that same day and then wait like four days and then they'll all be gone. All right, cool. Now just wait a few days. 
give it like four days, four to five days, and you're gonna see these inquiries removed off your credit report. Look, but I got something special for y'all, right? So I created something that I want you to be able to go out here and I want you to start fixing your credit. So I got a credit unlock bundle that I'm gonna give to y'all, that I'm gonna show to y'all right here. All you gotta do is when you get to this website right here, is sign up. Now I'm gonna teach you step by step on how to repair your credit from start to finish. No matter if something come back verified, no matter if something, whatever they say, I'm gonna teach you how to do everything, how to remove repos, how to remove bankruptcies, how to remove charge offs. I'm teaching you everything inside of this credit, this credit this credit repair program that I built for y'all. And I want you to go in there and I want you to repair your credit. Look, at the price that's at, you better hurry up and get it because guess what? When I raise the price, then it's over. But I'm putting this here for y'all because I want to help y'all and I want y'all to be able to get to the next level. Because a lot of times what happens is when you sign up for something or you get something, you get denied. I don't want y'all to get denied. I want y'all to start getting approved. Now you can go out here and you can start building. And once you get inside of there, I'm constantly updating videos, putting new videos in there for y'all that I don't put here on YouTube. So these videos are more, you know, in detail. And this is stuff that you can't Google. This is stuff that they don't teach you. So I'm going to teach all this stuff. But the price that it's at, you better get in there and get it before you miss out on it. Once you in, you in, then you can get inside of the group and you can start learning amongst your peers and y'all can start building amongst each other. Look, I'm building a community for people to be able to excel. I want you to be the part of it. So look, go ahead, go down below, click the link below and go ahead and get the link. And then you can get inside the course and you can start repairing your credit in detail, step by step. Let's get it. We love you guys and we thank y'all and continue to subscribe. 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 Bye. 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 Yeah, that's what I like.